Taken separately, her actions were mean. As a pattern of behavior, it is abuse, sort of like bullying. Chrissy, your comment is so on point, it needs its own video. What you are describing is coercive control. Let me read you the definition. Coercive control is an act or pattern of acts of assault, threats, humiliation, and intimidation or other abuse that is used to harm, punish, or frighten their victim. The controlling behavior is designed to make a person dependent by isolating them from support, exploiting them, depriving them of independence, and regulating their everyday behavior. There are states that define coercive control as illegal and allow for the tort that allow you to sue for coercive control or that make it um, be, that behavior criminal. Arizona is not one of them, neither is Utah. So as an example, if your child refuses to eat their dinner and says that they're not hungry and it's now 8.30 and you've put them to bed and they come out and they say they're hungry and you say, no, it's bedtime and this happens, that in and of itself is not abusive. That's a call you get to make as a parent. But what we see with Ruby Frankie is um, humiliating her children, absolutely isolating them, um, making fun of them, dehumanizing them, controlling them, and believing that she is like literally the only person who matters in the home. You know, that children don't have their own rooms, they don't have their own space. Nothing about them matters as a human. And that is coercive control and that is domestic violence. So there would have to be so much more education for CPS to start rec recognizing this and intervening. And so much more education for the public to understand that this is dangerous and this is not acceptable parenting. She she thought she was okay. She She thought she was so okay that she had a whole YouTube channel trying to teach other parents. She was proud of her behavior. The fact is that it's very difficult to get a court to intervene before something really bad happens. That's just the fact of the matter. So the five things that I recommended in the last video really are your best bet if you're dealing with somebody who's coercive and controlling.